Hello Water Signs Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Really appreciate you guys being here with me. Um, we're going to be looking into your weekend forecast and we'll see what comes up for you in these next couple of days. Um, so it is going to be focused on love. Uh, please feel free to drop a like if you like this content. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Uh, and your element as well. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and lay out some cards for you, water signs, mm. and see what's happening here for you um, this weekend, potentially. Now, messages may or may not resonate. Please keep an open mind and an open heart when addressing these messages. Um, so we'll start off. Okay, so really interesting energy here. So overall, water signs, there is someone you've been thinking about, um, a connection that you've sort of walked away from maybe. Uh, you've got, you know, that hermit energy, but it's reversed. It's telling me that there is a part of you really feeling like you're missing something or someone from your life. Um, and a lot of you don't want to be alone anymore. It's like you've got this energy where you are ready to jump into a relationship. You're ready to maybe come back to an ex-partner. You're ready to be loved again and you're ready to give love is what I'm seeing. You have possibly felt a little bit lost uh, or disoriented about a connection because you feel like you just, you haven't been yourself um, three of cups reversed it's like the friends the friends around you the family around you yeah they're nice um, and you know they give you great activities and you guys hang out and that's all wonderful but it's not quite the same as what a romantic connection can bring you so I'm getting a sense that some of you are missing that intimate connection maybe you're missing that person maybe you're missing a person in particular and it's like you don't want to be alone anymore or you don't want to be in isolation. A lot of you have withdrawn from a person. So this is to those that have you've walked away from them. You've left a connection. You said you needed time. You've sort of gone and done your own thing. Um, and I feel like that is maybe coming to an end, whether you were prepared for that or not. Um, but it's a very odd sort of situation. You, you've got the hangman. But the hangman is reversed. So you want to get your life back on track. And I feel there's a lot of motivation happening here for you to get that back in order. But some days it's going to be stronger more than others. I feel like with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups coming up, it's Pisces energy. And Pisces energy can be very, be very um, because it's a mutable sign, it's interchangeable. It thinks one way and then it thinks another, or it does one thing and then it um, thinks another. So I'm getting you having mixed emotions to an extent um, about how you feel about a situation. Okay, Three of Swords is, three of swords is um, reversed. So if you've been trying to hurt someone, it's like you don't want to do that anymore. Or you've sort of made your point to them, maybe, you know, maybe you've hurt them, you've done things out of jealousy, out of spite, out of anger, done things to maybe retaliate, maybe you've hooked up with another person, I'm speaking to the third parties over here, but there may be something here that you no longer want to take part in because it's not giving you that satisfaction it once did. It can be coming from your person as well, you might see an end to some of that behavior because it's not healthy and it can't go on forever. So it comes, it comes to a point uh, water signs where we start to draw the line and say enough is enough because I feel like there has been a hurtful um, situation here uh, you've got the Libra and energy you've got justice here so it's like I think you've done your fair share okay I think I think it's enough for now um, water signs so justice card is telling you 
you've you've um you've evened out the karma so to speak it's like when the justice card comes up it tells us you know you're even okay you're even um but it's also some sort of outcome that's come up in the cards here okay some sort of decision that you still think about and you know some days you feel really good about it other days you feel mm, not so good about it okay so there is a decision here is is what i'm seeing but it seems so final something feels or seems so final here for you but i feel like you no longer want you no longer want something here some of you don't want to be alone anymore Okay, some of you are looking for love or you're ready to get back out there. You've got that relationship card with the Ten of Cups. So for a lot of you, happiness is around you. Okay, so for a lot of you, it's accessible. Um, it's something that you've once had maybe with the person. Uh, perhaps you want to return to it. Perhaps you're thinking about a future with this person. The future is in your grasp if you really want it. But it's not going to be an easy task. We've got the Emperor here, so it's... To get that Ten of Cups, you're going to have to do things. You're going to have to make some sacrifices here, Water Signs, to, to get this connection or to get that person. Because the Emperor is a valuable player. So this uh, is a valuable player in the deck. Okay, he's not a player. Um, but he is valuable in a sense where it's someone that's tough to get. He's all about status. He's everyone wants the Emperor type thing. So you've got something that you want with a particular person, but that particular person is high value. And it's like, if you don't jump on it, someone else will. If you don't jump on that opportunity, someone else will. If you don't take the steps you need to take internally, okay, some of you have growth to do, some of you need to break the ice, you need to be the bigger person, you need to stop making this, trying to make this person jealous, you know. This is all about us evolving, I feel, eight of wands, and being more direct. So you might have done previously some subtle things to try to get their attention, um, but now it's like, okay, I want love again. I'm ready to receive love again. I'm ready to make those changes, ready to get that happily ever after. And it's with someone very valuable, whether it is a male or a female, the emperor is someone of high value. So my sense is that to get this, you're going to have to do things maybe that you weren't prepared to do. But it'll be worth it in the end because the Ten of Cups is fulfillment, it's reward. You know, it's having that love, it's having security, it's having intimacy, it's having someone to share your life with. Um, and isn't that just so beautiful to be in that kind of energy? But it is around you. So for those that, you know, are feeling pessimistic or you're feeling down about a connection, know that there are better times, much better times ahead here for your water signs. So that's very exciting, but I will leave it at that. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like and also to hit the subscribe button. And I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. Thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.